Hi people, so today we are going to learn how to create a UI design and uh, today we are going to learn how we can design something like this. So this might be a sign in screen for an app or sign up screen for an app. So it totally depends on the requirement that you have. So for this design, I have a layout file that I'll be uploading on the Google Drive and I'll provide the link for the Google Drive in the description below so this is the file okay so we have a basic layout of the app so that we can have a very amazing looking design right now okay so this is the sample design I'll upload this also so as you can see there's a background color there's a space for logo there's a space for uh, putting your username and your password and the submit button and if you want to provide the forget password option also so let's start designing something like this okay so first of all what we are, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a rectangle exactly to the size of my uh, canvas so let's just check the size of my image so th for that I'll, I'm going to image and in this image size so here you can see the width is 640 and height is 1136 so I just click on the canvas I'll put the width that would be 640 and the height that is 1136 and I'll press OK so this would come a little bit disoriented from the main canvas for that so for putting it in the right position I'll just zero out the X and Y's now it's exactly on the surface that I want it to be. Now as you can see my fill is disabled and my stroke is on but I don't need a stroke in this particular shape layer so I, I just disabled my stroke and I'm using any color right now in the fill. I'll just drag it below the status bar so that we can start designing on this color layer so first of all we'll just put up all the elements that we want in, in our design and then we'll work on its appearance later words okay so let's just begin with a little bit of a dark color so that everything is visible in a more proper way something like this would be amazing and then I'll just import the logo I'm using Graphic Workers logo right now. I just dragged and dropped it onto my image. Alright. Now let's just create some text fields in which the user might put up his or her username and password. So I'll just disable the stroke layer and I, I'll just enable the fill I'll take the height to like 2, 3, 2 pixels maybe I'll just select this one and the main base layer and then center my uh, straight line ok so we'll just put some I am just duplicating these layers with equal distance between them so there are two ways we can uh, have a equal distance between similar looking layers one is like dragging and dropping and having this li these lines guide you but this is more tricky so for a better and a professional approach what you can do is select all these layers and from this align menu area I'm going to choose this one this option says distribute vertical centers so by clicking this all these three layers will have a equal distance so for better understanding let me let me just de deviate the position of the center line now you can see these lines are not at an equal distance so what this 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 does is it it makes the distance between these lines equally distributed according to the first and the last layer so I'm selecting all these three 
I'm choosing the distributed vertical centers and you can see it comes at an equal distance so I'll move these layers a little bit upwards I'll put my logo a little bit downwards okay so now you can see there are there are two signs one says uh, username and one is for password so we have this icon of a guy a user and a icon of a lock so for that what I can do is I'll go to iconfinder.com this is a really good source for free icons and I'm going to put user and I'm going to choose this free option from here and as you can see there is this user icon and I'm going to put a lock also I always try to download the icons in uh, the maximum size they provide because you never know to what screen you are going to source your icons to okay so we've got both of our icons so I'll just select both of them and drop these icons must be roughly of the same size so that the design looks more professional okay so let's rename them properly and now I'm choosing the color overlay option from the FX menu I'm choosing the white color with, a, with an opacity of 100% so that my icons become white and I am duplicating it to the user also so what I am going to do is press alt and then click on this effect one effects layer display and I will just drag and drop it on the user icon also so both the icons have white color now so since these options are a little bit highlighted or a little bit less visible when they're not active so what for that what i'm going to do is i just i'll just select both the icons and take its capacity a little bit downwards okay so to me the icon looks a little bit larger so what i'm going to do is i'll just make these icons a little bit smaller also reposition them right okay so now I'm going to choose the text option and I'm going to write the username with the white color and put the size to 24 or maybe what I can do is I can just show the pre-filled option of my username so since I was having the opacity of the icons to be 49 I'll choose the opacity of this also to be 49 okay now we'll display something for the password also so passwords are usually kept hidden when you're typing so people you usually end up using the star icons so I'll select both the textes and I'm just going I just press T for the text menu over here and I'm going to choose left line for the text and then I'm going to press V for the select option and then I'm going to choose this vertical alignment for aligning it to the left edge right So yeah, okay. Now let's create a button for submit.
same process I'll remove the stroke I'll put in a fill of white I just group this username password option so that I can move them easily I'm choosing a text tool I just I just make all the I just like to make all my button text in all caps so I'm writing submit all caps right now and I'll make its size a little bit larger I chose the color of the background so this is how I, I would like to have my button okay so we can add this forget password also over here so this is basically a link and I want it to be on the right side of my area I'll put in forward password. I'm going to choose Vardana for the text type. right so I'll just move this group a little bit above also and I'll take the submit button a little bit downwards that's it so this is the basic layout of how we can create a sign screen for our app so now to add some really cool stuff to the design what I can do is I can just play with the background I can play with the buttons colors depending on the background and I can probably edit some of these also so let's start with the background so I have a image over here this is a really pretty looking background so I'll put it on the drive also so I'm just dragging it and I'm dropping it over here I'll just place it according to the design in a portrait view and to make our text visible I just have to make this background image a little bit less visible okay something like this can be done but what I can do is I can just put my darker layer above it and I'll just play with the color modes like this looks a really nice looking background and since the text is not visible what we can do is we can just play with the opacity of the text but this would not still be appearing let's try a different color nope let's make it a little bit darker also right now okay so we'll just take this lines a little bit less visible we can increase the size of this text a little bit maybe to 30 no, 28 would be enough Okay, so I'll put a adjustment layer of a adjustment layer of curves over this background so I can make it a little bit more contrasty. You see, the design looks really nice right now, but we can always have 
a little bit more of things that we can do. So from the shape layer options, I'm just trying to make it a more curved sort of a button. This looks really better than the previous one. Okay. And with the logo, what you can do is you can always put a sphere behind the logo with a fill of white so that it, your logo is more visible properly. But since my logo is having a white color in its design, so I, I would not prefer to have a white background. So I'll just put a blue color circle over here. And since, since it's, it looks really flat right now, so what I can do is I can just duplicate this sphere and I, I'll just disable the fill of the below represent layer and I'm just making it a stroke of white and I'm going to increase its size like this. I'll just make it a thick, thicker stroke right now, maybe to three. That's it. And I'll decrease the size of all of these things. Okay. And I'll just decrease its opacity also a little bit. Yeah. So this looks a really nice design to me. You can always edit some of all of these things that you want to edit. It's all up to you what sort of design you, are you wanting. But this is how the approach is to make a UI look really cool and really have a look like a really nice design for your app. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and share the videos so that your folks, your friends and everyone else can also learn something from it.